Hey guys, so this is a video on how to make like a sturdy diet for your hamster. Okay, let's get started. Let's get, okay, so the first thing you do, is you're going to set up a little thing like this. Um, you get a jar, well you didn't really need a jar, just get what you usually have your hamster food in. You take a scoop with your hand, cook out all the... Like, if your food has corn, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, um, uh, what's it called? A, uh, nuts, nuts aren't very healthy for them. This was filled up all the way to the top. I only took this much out, and it's already halfway. So, okay, so the next thing you can do is limiting the food you give them. I don't mean... Give them one teaspoon. Um, give them like three or f three to five of these. So I would get a measuring thing. Um, that's what you could do. Um, because if you don't give them a lot of food, well, you can still give them food, like regular food, but um, you shouldn't like give them too much because they might uh, get really fat even if there's like a lot of sugar in the food. So that's the next thing I'll say. If there's food that they don't, wait, no. If there's, uh, I don't know how to say this. If there is um, a food that looks really healthy, Look at the ingredients, because half of the time, it's not going to be healthy. So, um, if there's a lot of sugar in it, then I don't suggest getting it. If, oh, it's raining again. Okay, sorry. If there's, um, it looks really fun and stuff, I wouldn't get it, because that suggests that there is a lot of sugar in it. Before buying something for your hamster, I would always check the ingredients, and... Or the nutritional guide, because um, I bet you twenty bucks. Sugar is the first, second, or third thing on there. Well, I don't actually bet you twenty bucks, cause I'm just that's just a saying I usually say. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of how you do it. That, and don't give them a lot of treats, like in just to their diet. Like just don't give them every day. Do them every couple days because then, like, they don't get used to it and they don't get really fat because some have lots of sugars in them. So, um, yeah. Another thing is you should never buy a food that is for another, like, for, if it says from my animals, that's good. But if you buy a hamster food for that's actually meant for a gerbil, like your food and it says just for gerbils, check the ingredients because some things, like, seriously, it's only for gerbils, but sometimes it's just like the company's only for gerbils and they don't put anything down. So, yeah. So, um, also if it says, like, for rabbits, it doesn't say hamsters or anything, I don't suggest getting it. But if it's all safe for hamsters, then if you're sure it's all safe for hamsters, then you can get it. But I don't really suggest getting that very much. Um, so, yeah, so you can give them treats like this. Um, they're little balls packed with honey. Um, and they just have their food in there. Well, my food in there. Um, you can get that because... That would be good. It's kind of healthy for them. I threw away the package, so I don't really know. But, um, see, like, corn, pumpkin seeds, some nuts, uh, pumpkin seeds, and... One second. Pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, um, are really not... Well, it's, when you give them one, it's okay. But if it's, like, ten in the food, like, look. Look at what all you see in there. 
there's sunflower seed, corn, sunflower seed, sunflower seed. So I suggest just picking those all out. That's what I do. So, uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. It's just a quick little video. And there will be more videos today. So, uh, bye.